Seriously, you need to drop this weight. It's killing you. I cried. I cried all the way home. And I said, okay, I'll do it. I'm excited to go through this surgery because I believe on the other side, there's so many benefits to that, that several years ago, I would never have thought of it that way. This code here is for any kind of family member yes. that you want to be able to call and talk to the medical staff. Can we just kind of tighten this up a little bit here? Like what time do you want to be here? So, okay. how are you feeling today? Good. I, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm excited. I'm more excited to have a drink of water tomorrow. I just want to get through, get on the other side, get out of surgery, get up, start walking, just start that process, you know, of, of things getting better. And then, sir, you can have a seat there okay, if you'd you. like. Did, am I, is it going to be tougher because uh, one is the vitamin? Hi! Hi. How are you? things? Good! We're here! I you made it! it this you time. did! You did! <laughs> How are you feeling? Good! Good! Okay, good. good. Are you nervous? No! Oh. Well, kind of I feel like you should be like a little bit nervous. I mean, in that, you know, no, no I'm, just, just I'm excited. Anxious, anxious to get the show on the road. I met Pamela when she was interested in the program. Her doctor had suge suggested that she look into bariatric surgery, and so she gave me a call. And so from the moment that a patient calls is kind of when they get started with with me in the process. And so um, she visited the website, watched the, the online seminar. We had her see the, the surgeon in his office, so make sure that, um, you know, he thinks this is a good idea, she's a good candidate. Um, and then from there, that's kind of when we start the education. So that's when she would had her first ap appointment with myself and the dietitian in person. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, that's right. <coughs> oh, is this the operating room? Wow, right here. Sure, right. Dang, I thought I'd go clear down the hall. Everything went great. She did just fine. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Good. Right. I knew she would because of her attitude. So. Yeah. Yeah. All she's right. a great, good person. All right. I'm glad she's going to be okay then. So. This is going to be a, looks like it's going to be a blessing because she's going to get rid of her CPAP. She's going to get rid of her, her diabetes. She's going to lose the weight. And that's just a, all, them other, all the other benefits and losing the weight is just a bonus to her. But when she started on her insulin, I told her, you know, insulin just puts on the weight. There's nothing you can do about it, really. I mean, some people it's that way and I told her, you know, I really don't, I didn't care if she weighed 850 pounds or 50, it was still, she was still my wife and her name was still Pam, it didn't matter. She still had the same heart, so. So I'm her uh, bariatric surgeon, so uh, kind of been the point person for her as she kind of starts this whole journey. Um, you know, she's had a lot of medical problems over the course of uh, her life and um, weight loss is something that is a solution to kind of prevent anything worse from happening, um, as well as to treat some pre-existing problems that she has. Her, her diabetes is going to be probably the, the quickest thing that is impacted by this surgery, because with a gastric bypass, not, not only does the weight loss help with that, there's also a metabolic component to it too that is pretty immediate acting. So there's a, I'm hoping that we won't have to restart her insulin at all. Post-surgery, you know, Pam knows, she knows what she's doing. That's kind of the beauty of this surgery is she's very well educated for what happens after the surgery as well. So the biggest thing that I rely on her on is just following her post-operative diet, kind of sticking to those rules because they're very important as she does heal things up and also very important to her overall success. I think within a year's time, it's pretty realistic that we're going to see around 100 pound weight loss, but we usually see peak weight loss somewhere between 18 to 24 months. Calming down. Okay. <laughs> okay. And okay. you guys are going to 470? 
Okay. Okay. So well, we'll, we'll see you down there. Along. All right. Okay, babe. Okay. Okay. You know, considering all things, there's really not pain. It's, I know that I've had surgery, you know, just the way my stomach feels. I mean, I'm really excited now to see, because it was 24 pounds I was down yesterday. Um, I'm anxious to see how it comes off. And I, I mean, you know, that type of thing, so. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How are things in here? Marvelous. Some people just like to, you know, just pour them in their mouth, but they're just little bitty, little bitty blue guys. Um, there's no flavor or anything to them. Oh, um, and so, heaven. This is heaven. There you go. Right here. So the, the, the point of this is that we'll have you munch on these eyes. You can suck on them. You can um, crunch them if you're an ice cruncher. Um, if you notice that after you do a few, your stomach starts to kind of spasm a little bit or you start to feel a little discomfort, just slow down and give yourself a little bit of time because since they are cold it might, you know, make your stomach a little, you know, it might react a little bit. Mm -hmm. 